something I can't see You might be someone I've always needed So, hello guys. Today I'm finally back vlogging in what feels like the longest time. I feel like I haven't really done like a nice just casual weekly vlog and what feels like forever i was actually watching back my old lockdown vlogs the other week and i was like i don't miss that time in my life but i do just miss picking up the camera and just bringing you guys along to whatever i'm doing so that is what i'm gonna be doing this week because i have missed it a lot i've missed chatting with you guys i miss like just doing videos that aren't just sit down videos all the time so i'm super excited for the weekly vlogs to be making a comeback i did need a little bit of a break when i finished uni i feel like it's quite full on to vlog like most days like it's a lot so i'm glad i took a little bit of time off but now i'm back what's that meme it's like i took a bit of took a bit of that's nah, game time bitches that is that the right so i'm back and guys i had my hair done i'm literally obsessed with it so i was gonna bring it this was the whole reason i was gonna vlog i was gonna bring you guys along and show you guys the whole process but this morning my camera wasn't working for some reason the battery said it needed charging when it was fully charged so hopefully we're gonna be okay hopefully this vlog will actually go ahead but i did actually have extensions put in which i'm so excited about i have wanted like these extensions for so long they're like bond extensions obviously my own hair is very like sh it's, it's short i'll put a picture on before and after on the screen of how it looked before and after so i had 24 inch bond extensions put in i think these are beauty works extensions and she used like three different colors millie rose hair did this she's literally a hair mask so i honestly don't know how she does it i'll link her down below and it, i could i couldn't have asked for better hair like i said i wanted it beachy not too thick on the ends like super natural looking super like a lot of different colors it looked very natural and beachy and she got it spot on like it's literally perfect overall it looks a little bit blonder but nothing too drastic obviously when i wash as i wash it, it will like thicken up a lot more so at the moment it's like very silky and thin which i personally really like but obviously like with extensions as you wash them they get a little bit more thick so it will probably like thicken up a little bit more um but i literally am obsessed with them i think they're so nice and um, but the football's on tonight not england what is it it's the game it's the game that they played to get to the final so whoever wins tonight will be playing so it's kind of important i think it's spain v italy which should be fun and love island's on and love island tonight looks like such a good episode so just thought i'd do like a cute little week in my life also my little cousin is on work her work experience and for the week she's going to be my personal assistant so she'll probably be in the vlogs a little bit as well because we're going to do a shoot day i think on like wednesday and thursday so that'll be cute to film as well so yeah just like casual just a normal week in my life like nothing too hectic nothing too out of the ordinary just like a very just like casual week in my life I feel like you guys like this kind of like just casual video i just shot some instagram content for lounge underwear in the cutest little set i'll put, pop the picture on the screen if it has gone live i think it will the day of this vlog so i'll pop it on the screen and you guys can see what picture i got and i'm just gonna have some dinner i think i'm just gonna have some fish and vegetables so i'll show you guys my dinner i need to take on off this lounge underwear set which i've got on under here actually i might leave it on because it's actually quite comfy um <laughs> and i've got on this t-shirt you guys know i literally live in this this boohoo pie t-shirt i did tell you on one of my videos like i live in this t-shirt and i was like you guys haven't actually seen me casually wearing it but these are literally all i wear all, all the time all around the house so we're gonna go downstairs and have my dinner also got an amazon fresh delivery coming isn't life just always exciting when there's an amazon fresh delivery coming i love it so guys just finished well i didn't make it my mum literally made this dinner what what is the fish uh Place, I think. place is it lemon or something Dustin. no not lemon yes. salt salt and pepper place with an array of vegetables there's like baby corn broccoli carrots and green beans and it looks so yum so i'm gonna eat this now i'm trying to eat healthy you guys please that this week i'm trying to just be a bit more healthy um so this is my little dinner lenny move so the Amazon Fresh delivery has just come. I'm very excited to show you guys what we got. I just literally, I always say this, but I literally love how it comes in these brown paper bags. It literally makes shopping so much more fun. So I'll show you guys what is in them. Lenny, Lenny, this is not for you. Cat food, not too exciting, probably won't show you guys that. I got this Veet Miraculous Oil, which I'm gonna try and use for my shaving rash, because we know if you're a long time subscriber, you know I really struggle with my shaving rash. It's not hot girl, so if I don't have a nice smooth bikini line, so hopefully this will help me get that. Uh, we've got Child's Farm Hair and Body Wash. I love this um, brand, so I always use their moisturiser. I find it literally the best for your skin. Got some proper corn, sweet and salty for the football later. Um, these 10 cal 
I literally can't talk today. These 10 cow jellies, which are literally the nicest thing ever. They're really nice if you want something sweet after dinner, but you don't want to like waste those calories or something really sweet. I really like these. So we've got those in black currant and blueberry. And buying a passion fruit, they're literally the best two flavours. Some jalapenos, um, mini cheddars, Pepsi Max. Um, comment down below if you're more team Pepsi Max or Diet Coke. I think I'm actually team Pepsi Max. My mom kind of converted me. I was more, to be fair, I'm a Coke Zero or Pepsi Max, not a Diet Coke. Got some Oatly, which is the best oat milk ever. Mini mozzarella, cherry tomatoes, mini cucumbers, because if you're interested, you always have these with some hummus and it always like, makes me crave them. So I finally got some. Um, just got some kiwi, some Mediterranean style vegetables to have or something probably this week, and then some potatoes. So it's not really like a proper shop, it's just kind of like a top up. But I would recommend doing like a little top up if what? What? <laughs> I'm literally crying because apparently this is it looks like kiwi though. Avocado. It's avocado, not kiwi, so I think it's a bit odd why I got kiwi anyway. This isn't like a proper like new shop, this is just kind of topping up what we already had. So this is not like everything, but it's quite handy just when you need a few bits just to not have to pop out. So we definitely recommend Amazon Fresh. And I'm very excited. I literally want to eat these right now with some hummus. Actually, we're gonna have we're gonna watch the one, we're gonna have some of this with maybe a Pepsi Max. Italy just missed their penalty. Are oh, you so cute? Are <laughs> you so cute? Come here. Come here. Come here. Hello. 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 So cute. Why are you so cute? Why are you so cute, please? Excuse me. Why are you so cute? Excuse me. Can you roll it for me? Roll it round, 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 round. You are so cute, look at you. Hello. Where's that paw? Where's that paw? What do you want? What do you want? Oh. Why are you the cutest? Why are you the cutest? So I've just come upstairs, I've just taken off all of my makeup um, and I'm going to try and put these extensions into like loose plaits. I feel like that's the best way to sleep in them. I googled it and it was like, it's like the best kind of way to not put like strain on your head. So I'm probably going to put them in some loose plaits and then I'm going to head to bed. Just finished watching Love Island. I'm actually obsessed with it. I feel like when it first came on, everyone was like... I can't believe I waited two years for this. Like this is not good. Like this is not a good, uh, not a good series of Love Island, which I kind of agreed with when it first started. But now it's going on, I do feel like it's getting better and better. I feel like I'm literally getting more into it than some of the other series that I've watched. So let me know down below if you do think the same. So yeah, I'm gonna plait my hair and put my moisturiser on. Actually, the moisturiser which I've been loving at the moment, I'll show you guys. Sorry, my glasses are really getting run out because they're slipping off my face. I really need to get new ones. Um, but the moisturiser I've been loving at the moment, actually, I think it was um, Lydia actually reminded me of this moisturiser and it's the Nivea Soft Moisturiser. Literally the best thing in the world. Second best one I'd probably say is the Audi one, which I can't actually see right now. Oh, here it is. This Audi one is also so, so good. And the Charles Farm one. They're literally like my three favourite moisturisers, if you guys are wondering. And I'm also going to pop some body lotion on as well. I've got like this firming one. Um, but I don't know where it went. I need to start like, using it every single day because it's really good for like your bum and your cellulite and everything. So I'm going to try and find that. Is it there? Be here, yeah, it's here. Nivea Firming Q10. So I'm gonna put this all over because it's actually really good at keeping your tan on, and it also has firmer and elasticizer in it. So I don't know how well that actually works, but apparently it's gonna work. Um, but I'm just gonna pop all this stuff on now. This is like my level of self care. This is as self care as it gets for me, to be honest. Like just moisturizer and plait my hair. Um, but I'm gonna do that now. Uh, I'll probably sign off and chat with you guys in the morning. So good morning guys. Just thought I'd quickly show you my breakfast because this is a very odd choice for me but this is what I always like to have for my breakfast. I don't really like bre breakfast foods for breakfast. I don't know if any of you guys can relate. I prefer to kind of have like a lunch as a breakfast. So I basically got some avocado, some olives, some gherkins, 
some they like, gherkins or pickles not quite sure got some tomatoes feta cucumbers hummus and pita this looks like a very old combination but this is literally like my favorite type of food to eat i honestly think i should have been brought up in the mediterranean because it's like the type of breakfast you have there i just prefer foods for breakfast that aren't actually for breakfast so don't at me but yeah this looks insane I'm gonna have this now and yeah i've basically just been editing a video all morning and trying to do a new intro as well so hopefully you'll see that on this video if i can get it up in time um but yeah i'm gonna tuck into this now it looks yum some people might think i'm crazy but i love it i also feel like i should just add that it's 11 it's 11 10 like it's not eight o'clock like i'm not eating this at eight o'clock in the morning so it's kind of more acceptable as a brunch but to be honest, I probably would still probably eat this at like 7 or 8 in the morning because I am just that weird. Just had a few deliveries, just thought I would show you what I got. So basically last night I was talking to my hairdresser because obviously you have to have special shampoo for your extensions. And I was like, I don't know which one to get, like what's the best one to get. And it can't have sulfates in it. So I found this beauty work set on, I think it was Look Fantastic. Yeah, it was Look Fantastic. And I thought it was a really good price. It was like £40. And you basically get the hair oil, the shampoo, oil mask, heat protect spray and con and, sham and conditioner. And conditioner, shampoo, conditioner. And I just thought it was like a really good um, buy. It's like a gift set. So I was worried they were going to be at like minis, but they're actually quite big and i'll definitely link it down below if you do have extensions or whatever i haven't actually tried it yet obviously but apparently it's supposed to be really good she said it, she would definitely recommend it so hopefully that'll be good for my hair and i also just picked up a new brush because i realized i don't i haven't actually had a new brush i want to say for about three years i think that's actually quite bad i don't know if that's bad or not but I just thought I needed a new one. I don't want to like keep using my old brush, which is like full of like dry shampoo and just like old, like scummy stuff, which I don't want to get into my extension. So I just thought I'd get a new brush. So I got the Denman Tangle Tamer Ultra, which is the one she recommended. So I got those two things from Look Fantastic. Lenny is sat here literally looking at everything with them. Dad, hello. The cats have really made an appearance this vlog, haven't you? You want to be in there? Don't bite me. Then I have another very exciting delivery from Princess Polly. Um, I might show you guys a little sneak peek. It's actually kind of gifted by Princess Polly. But I might save some of the items for a haul. I can't remember what I bought. <laughs> I honestly have no idea. Um, but I might save a lot of these items for an actual like try on haul. So I don't want to give too much away. But there's a lot of prints. There's a lot of bright colours. There's greens, pinks, blue... I'm very, very excited. I've never actually ordered from there before. So I need to try everything on, see how it fits. I honestly did not know at all with the sizing, like what to get. So hopefully praying it's going to fit. Also got a nice pair of shoes. Maybe I'll show you guys the shoes because that will probably just be easier to show you. And that's harder to show on a haul anyway. Um, oh my God, these look so nice. I haven't tried them on. But they're like this chunky kind of flip flop. You guys know this is like the biggest trend. And I haven't really found a pair that have been comfortable enough or like narrow enough for my foot. But these ones look really good. So I'm praying they're going to be good. Because I think they're so good for holiday and for swanage and stuff like that. When I want to wear like a nice dress or a nice skirt. And I don't want to wear trainers. But I don't want to wear heels. I think they're going to be like the perfect in between. So these look so cute. Can't wait to try those on. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try all this on now. And I'll let you guys know how it fit. How everything fits. Also just finished my intro. So you would have seen that at the beginning of this video. I'm very, very happy with it. And yeah, thank you so much Princess Polly for all of this stuff. And I'll definitely link down below that look fantastic gift set if you guys are wondering about for about um, shampoo and stuff for your hair extensions. Hopefully it'll be really good. Everything's very difficult with you today. So guys, a little bit later now. I did just edit a video. I edited some pictures which I'm going to post on Instagram. And I'm now, it's got a, bit, a little bit late. We're going to go and just pop to TK Maxx just because I thought there's a new one that's opened near me and I really want to just like have a little browse in there. So we are going to pop there for a little bit. I just thought I'd show you guys the outfit I've just put on. I just curled my hair a little bit, put on this little Hollister. It's like a yellow cropped like kind of cardigan. You could literally wear it like undone or you could wear it like kind of done up and off the shoulder, which is how I like to wear it. Got on my Levite denim shorts and then my uh, Jordans, which I got recently. And I just thought it was really cute. I'll show you guys this way. You can see it a little bit better. I feel like it looks very kind of California-esque, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to pop there now. I'll bring you guys along. And I hope you have some cute bits. I feel like we're in a bit of a rush. Mom's like rushing me. So we're not going to focus. Yeah, I'm going to take you guys there now. Hope you have some cute bits. Not really looking to buy anything, but just did want to have a little browse. And I'm just need to get out of the house. I'm just getting too kind of caught up doing editing and stuff. I just need a little bit of a break.
spreadable gin, spreadable peach bellini, spreadable mojito, spreadable, oh my god, that makes me feel really ill, spreadable porn, spreadable espresso martini, vodka and coffee marmalade. Yeah, no, 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 no. This one kind of sounds like it's like more like a marmalade, like a fruity marmalade. This actually gives me nightmares, so can't be dealing with that. $14.99. This is quite That's nice, so but I don't need really another. I don't really need another sweatshirt, do I? It no, feels really soft really though. though. $14.99 yeah. for a brand sweatshirt. That's actually really good, and it's size medium. I just don't know if I need another sweatshirt, but it's quite cute. Found this little skirt, which is really cute, but I don't really need it. But it does kind of go with the outfit that I have on. It would look really cute, but I don't need it. It's a size medium. And I'm not quite sure of the price. Let me just double check. $12.99. Not the cheapest, but it's really cute. It's quite good quality as well. I'm not really sure of the brand. Uh, can't see a brand. Can't even see a label, so that's helpful, but... This little crochet set is really cute. This little like shorts and jumper set is so cute and also would match literally perfectly with my Jordans. But it's a size small and I feel like it's gonna be a little bit too small. I probably would need it in a medium. I think it's the only one they have, which is really sad because it's so cute. It would be so cute for holiday. I just came across these and I feel like Rakesh would love these such trainers. Um, they're literally like, they're still kind of expensive, but to be honest, not really like a hundred pound, 99 pound, but some are 79. Um, and they're all in massive sizes, so if the fish was still here, we'd probably really like a pair of these. They're actually really, really nice. So we've just come upstairs, and I just want to show you guys these, because I always get questions about where I get my picnic camper from. I think it's the one that when I went to a picnic with George and Emily, there was, oh my god, where'd you get your camper from? And it was from here last year, but I've just seen that they still have them, and they've got a few, like, new designs. This one's really cute, with the blue and white this little picnic basket. So yeah, in TK Maxx and HomeSense, literally have a look, because they always have them. And they're like a really good size, and they're really, really cheap as well. well not really cheap, but they were quite a good price, 14.99. I think mine was 12.99, no, 14.99. Um, but they're such like a good size, and I get so much use out of my one. So definitely come here. I think I also got my lemon, where did I get my lemon blanket from? Was it here as well? Yes, yeah. And also my lemon blanket, which you guys always ask me about, was also from here. So if you are on the cup for like cute little picnic bits, then it's a like, folk from Home Sense or TK Maxx, because they always have quite a lot. So hello guys, I'm a little bit stressed, it's a little bit later now. I completely forgot I had my uni showcase today, which is basically like a little kind of like gallery space of some of our work. And I literally completely forgot. So I've literally thrown together an outfit super, super quickly. I've got on this Princess Polly skirt and top, which will be coming in the hall very soon. I literally couldn't wait to put all that stuff on because it is literally the nicest stuff I've ever had in my life. Um, but I'm literally in such a rush. I need to go and get the train. I've just curled my extensions. And I'm also having a little bit of a mare because I have lost all my jewelry. I put it somewhere and I don't know where it is. So I just had to go with this little necklace, which is fine. But I've literally lost all my rings. Like I don't know where any of them are. So I need to literally go to Holborn in like London for in like 15 minutes. I need to leave literally now. I'm literally going to go to the toilet and go and I'll bring you guys onto the showcase. Hopefully I'll try and calm down in the car because I need to edit a video. I need to do my thumbnail and it's all just kind of got a bit late. Also it looks like it's pouring it down with rain which is absolutely great as well because I don't have a coat. So all in all it's going excellently but I'll keep you guys updated. I'll bring you guys along hopefully when I'm feeling a little bit less stressed. Since the showcase, do you know what the music is going on here? It's very what's the word? exotic. Um, the showcase is a little bit underwhelming. I'll talk to you guys what we're going when I get home. We just came to Nan, but as Nick, you'd have seen our food. I'm literally using the toilet now because I had about four bottomless cokes, Coke Zeros, if you know, you know. Um, I had about four of those and I just needed a wee. So I've just come to the toilet feeling extremely bloated. Um, but I feel like I haven't really vlogged that much because I'm just like sitting and chatting obviously with Lucy and Charlotte and with Lucy and Charlotte but I haven't seen them for so long so I feel like I just wanted to like catch up with them so I haven't really been doing a lot of footage on here so I'm very sorry for that 
Um, but I've really important when I get home. It's actually like half eight, I don't know where the time's gone, but I better go back upstairs. And I'll probably see you guys when I'm home. I might vlog a little bit. So guys, on the way home, I'm not gonna lie, it's hard to come on here because I just squeezed a spot. I think you can see it on my face. I was like, oh my gosh, I have the worst headache. I squeezed the spot, no word for lie. I was like, I thought it was just gonna be a little, just a little pop. Um, it was quite busy, like, there's no one on here now. It was quite busy and not, no word for lie. Probably nearly hit the person opposite. So that was absolutely disgusting. You probably really didn't need to know that. Um, but I'm nearly home. It is literally like half nine. I don't know where the time's gone. I need to watch Love Island when I get in. So nice to see Lucy and Charlotte again. Sorry, I've literally got the worst indigestion from that Nando's. I'm so full. You save my batteries for eight percent. I need to tap out on this phone because I I don't know. Comment down below. Does it charge you more if you if you tap your phone? Like if you're using your phone and then your phone dies and you tap your card, does it charge you more because it's technically a different card number even though it's the same card? I don't know. It's kind of freaks me out. So I'm gonna try and tap out my phone. I'm gonna try and see my battery. I'm pulling in to the station now and I'll probably talk to you guys when I'm home. I've really fancy a nice cup of tea and just a little wind down and watch some Love Island. I am absolutely exhausted. I am so tired. I literally have just had a coffee. I don't have, no, I had a tea. I always, I always think that chai is coffee, but chai is tea. I need to get that into my head. I had a chai latte. I think it's it's like the latte thing. I just think of it as coffee. Had a chai latte, watched Love Island. I am hooked guys. Every single episode I'm getting more and more into it. I literally now can't wait for tomorrow's one. I love I'm loving Faye. I feel like Faye is giving me major Olivia Atwood vibes and I love it. I feel like she's just got that just like I can't I can't describe it. It's like she's just got exactly the same kind of persona and like bluntness and she's just so funny. Like I love her. I just thought I would update you guys a little bit more because I feel like I wasn't really talking properly on that last section of the vlog basically it went to our showcase it was just kind of like a mix of all different like ma and ba work and there was a front part that was like curated so obviously like curated um in like the first like eight or six screens whatever it was we didn't realize we could actually have put our work like it was all just the online platform so you just click to change whatever work is on the screen so we probably could have actually put our work up which is really annoying, but there was no one there to tell us. There was honestly like, there was no tutors even there to kind of like guide you through what to do. So it's a little bit disappointing. Um, but basically, yeah, I could have literally shown you guys, but we didn't realize it until we were home. There was no tutors there. It, we're not even getting a proper graduation. Like the whole thing is honestly just a shambles. Um, like when you look at the Euros and you see like there's literally 60,000 people up, sat watching the Euros and I can't have graduation for 12 people. It is, a bit gutting like it's just i'm not gonna think about it too much it does make me really angry but yeah it's annoying it was annoying about the showcase thing today as well that no one was really there to kind of help us but it is what it is it's fine we still had a really nice day so i'm not going to get too hung up on it but i just wanted to like clarify that because i feel like i didn't make it clear earlier i am actually just going to take off my makeup now i'm just going to plait my hair again i feel like this is my little routine now i'll just plait my hair so i've literally worn this probably 90 percent at the time in this video but I love this. You remember this? My Christmas um, haul, actually. Um, but I just sorted out my outfits because tomorrow I am finally going on my shoot day with Bonnie, and we're gonna go. I think we're gonna go to Carnaby Street because that's where I went before, and I found some really cute locations there, and I didn't like use all of them. So I'm probably gonna go back there because they had some really cute places to take pictures. Um, I've just decided on my outfits. I'm gonna do a lot of Princess Polly and a lot of Boohoo looks tomorrow. I'm not gonna do too many, but like four or five looks because I am actually kind of like stacked up on content. Anyway. Um, I'm not gonna reveal too much, but some patterns, some brights. I can't wait. I can't wait for you guys to see this content. Hopefully, it's all gonna go well. I've already taken um, some pictures of some locations which I know I want to use tomorrow, so I'm kind of got that in my head. So hopefully it shouldn't take too long to kind of find the locations, change and everything like that. I'm so excited, but I'm so tired. I'm literally exhausted, I'm literally dying. So yeah, I'm gonna plait my hair, take this makeup off, and I'll see you guys in the morning. It's kind of an early start, because we're gonna try and go quite early. I think we're gonna try and go at like half 10. So it'll be an early start, um, but I'll see you guys in the morning. I feel like, sorry, this vlog has probably been so sporadic. 
I, I get into the I get into the flow of vlogging and then I kind of fall off for like a few weeks and then I come back and then I'm back off the flow and then I have to get back into it again. So I promise I'm going to try and be more regular at my vlogs and just try and get better at it because when you get in the flow of it, it's so like fun, you just want to vlog all the time. But getting started again it is kind of hard. So you guys just have to bear with me. But I hope you guys don't mind a chaotic vlog. It's fine. Um, But yeah, I'm going to go to bed now because I'm literally... my eyeballs like my contact lens are sticking to my eyeballs because i'm so tired my eyes are so dry love that for me hey guys we have arrived in Ina cafe i literally came here the other week but not this one this is such a different branch this is the one that has the really cool like funfair thing going on with all like the neon lights it's so nice in here we i'm with bonnie but we don't want to be on the vlog she's literally just firmly saying she doesn't want to be on it so she's really not going to make an appearance she's that point so the lighting is really weird. Um, we just shot this outfit, which is literally what I basically had on yesterday, but it's a slightly different top with this green um, princess poly skirt. Um, I've got four outfits to shoot. I'm probably going to shoot another one in here because it's like such a cool location. Um, we've got two pictures. Like we've got well, they're the same outfit, but there's like two different locations. So I got this one and the focus. I haven't actually gone through them yet, but there was like this like. Um, Carnaby Street sign and then it also got some outside of the actual Elan as well so I need to go through and edit them and see which one I prefer I feel like these look a little bit more eye-catching in front of this sign um, and then I'm going to change into a blue outfit which I showed you guys at home to shoot in here because like all around the back it's so nice like there's like a full-on um, like what is it called like fun fair like a full on like neon fun fair thing so we will try to get some pictures there we've just ordered some what have we ordered chipati yeah we, we wanted like i wanted the pistachio frappe every single time we have pistachio frappe and they never have the frappe so we've gone for a uh, rose lemonade which is why i'm actually really dirty so i wasn't sure if i need anyway and then we've got some chipatis or something we're not sure what they are white cups i'll show you guys just got our lemonade it looks so nice We've always liked this, haven't we? We always yeah. get, wherever we go, we always get things. And like candy meals. Rose lemonade, me and Bonnie always get it. And they put a little rose, little bugs in the top, which looks really, really cute. Literally not the most aesthetic. Like, there's some girl next to us with a full-on, it literally looks like she did a chemistry lesson. I don't know what she's got. It's like a full-on, like, funnel drink with, like, ice. That girl. Oh, yeah, that I can't I can't pan it to show you but it looks really interesting. There's ice on top and then there's like a drink in the bottom and it's like bright red. And I really want to know what it is, but we're just stuck safe, we've just got this. Because they didn't have the frappes. I wanted to get the pistachio frappe, but they didn't have it. But it still looks really really nice. So I don't really how to vlog when I'm shooting but i literally just bought this ice cream just to shoot because i wanted to get this picture outside this like ice cream green bit and i thought it just needed like an ice cream so i just spent like four pound on a bed and jerry's ice cream but it's actually really nice it's fish food i've never had it before um but we're taking a picture we were taking a picture in front of this like, ice cream thing and like had a lot of stairs up to be fair i'm wearing quite a summery outfit and the weather is not it's hot but it's not like sunny sunny so we're just going to try and find like one more location we've only got one more picture to shoot and we've done really well for time so it's been a very productive day how are you supposed to just actually eat this just bite it it tastes like hmm. oh. you know those um caramel wafer biscuits you can get in starbucks yeah they're not up like it's a bit nicer than Play muffled. So, coming to the on retro, I really want to get a Hawaiian shirt like this to wear over bikinis but these ones are quite expensive I saw one it was like £26 and they've got them on Amazon for £12 yeah so they're like they're 20 quid. but I did try on a really nice one which is a really cool print but I just think I can get cheaper on Amazon because they actually sell some like vintage ones on Amazon but these prints are quite cool I don't know, I just feel like for the amount I'll wear it I don't want to spend £26 on a vintage one so guys we're in, what's this place called? Presso tea, I think it's called, and we've just got bubble tea. Is it nice? Really nice. It's so I got summer berry, 30% ice, and I think it's got like coconut and mango boba in it. Um, and then what did you get? The chamomile and citrus chamomile. 
looks so nice. And mango boba. It's so cute. So guys, a little bit later again. We've just been for a little bit of shopping. We didn't actually pick up too much. I did actually get a pair of trials from Urban, which I will show you guys later because they are literally everything I've been searching for. What I'm looking for. But we've come to Pizza Pilgrim. This is where I came the other day with my crush and my mum. And it was actually like the nicest pizza I've ever had in my life. It's actually like right on Carnaby Street, Soho. Yeah, it's literally on like, I think this is like Kingley Court, like the back of Carnaby Street. And it's so cute, it's a Friday night, so it's quite busy, but we've got a table quite easily. I've got my Aperol. I just went for a small one this time. I did get a large one last time, it was quite a lot. But like, you know, it's gonna be a good Aperol when they've got an olive in it. So yeah, I love that. Bonnie's just got a Coke. You wanted a, you wanted what did you want? Um, Peach iced tea, but they didn't have it. They didn't have it, so she's gone for a coat. But it's such a nice evening. It was actually a lot sunnier earlier. It's gone a little bit cloudy now. But it was like literally, we, we said it didn't feel like we were in London. It felt like we were in like Brighton or like the seaside or somewhere because it was so hot. And around that little bit, like near Soho, it does feel like, it doesn't really feel like you're in the city. It's really, really nice. So I'll show you guys the food when, we get, when it gets here. Last time I did actually have a couple of pizza, but me and Rikash like had too much coffee on it, we just got a bit too much. So I think I'm gonna have, I just ordered like a tomato, which is more like a tomato -y. Not as plain as a margarita, but like a little bit, not as much coffee because it did like, I feel like I need a bit of a break from the top all. So I hope it'd be nice. Bonnie got the spice, did you get the spice as well? Yeah. So I think it was like nude, nude or something she got. So hopefully that will be nice as well, and I'll show you guys it when it comes. We were literally not hungry for ages, and now we're rather really hungry. It has just come, it looks insane. We need to get them to fix the table because it's wobbly. But it looks so, so nice. guys, I just got home. Sorry, I'm filming on my phone because this is so backlit. The camera is not picking it up. But I did just want to show you guys my purchase. Sorry, I'm literally extremely bloated. I think I'm like celiac or something. I literally can't have bread. It just, I don't know, it just doesn't agree with me. Um, but I wanted to show you guys my purchase from Urban these white cargo trousers you can't this is really not the best light to kind of show them in but oh my gosh i'm literally obsessed i got them in the sale and they were reduced from like 60 pound to 22 pound and i got student discount on top so obviously you'd wear them with trainers you can't really see them too well they've got like these really cool pockets this little white button and the best part about them is that this part you can tighten them so you can actually make them like as tight, like as low waisted or high waisted as you want. I just thought like this whole outfit is just such a vibe. Also, like literally with my red Air Jordans, my red Chanel, how cute does that look? So I'm so impressed with these. I can't believe I finally got a pair because I've wanted a pair of white cargo trousers for so long like this. I feel like they're a really good kind of level of baggy without being too oversized. And they're still like long and everything. So they're literally perfect. Love them. I'll try and link them down below. I don't know if they'll actually be on the website because they're like the sale. But how cute. This is really not the best way to show them. But you guys will see. I'll probably get an Instagram picture very, very soon. So guys, I am finally home. I am absolutely exhausted. We did 19,000 steps today. I got all four pictures. I got those gorgeous cargo trousers and we just had the cutest little day. It was really nice to see my cousin because she's obviously still at school. So I don't get to see her all the time. She didn't really want to be on the vlog, which I completely understand, but yeah, it's fine. I still kind of heard her voice every so often. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I think I'm going to end the vlog here because I'm going to literally drink like two gallons of water and try and flush this bloat out of me. And I'm gonna watch some Love Island and just chill out. I think I just need like a relaxing evening because like I said, I'm 19,000 steps. My feet are aching and I really just wanna relax. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for coming along on my week. I feel like it's been super, super random. It's probably been all over the place. I need to edit this tomorrow. So I'm hoping it's actually gonna be okay for a vlog. But I hope you guys don't mind the kind of random clips. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you very soon. Love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.